Now here's someone we kind of dodged around with all day. Would Mr. Joe Ripple like to talk to us on camera? What would you like to talk about, sir? Well, we'd like to talk about filmmaking since it's Joe Ripple. <laughs> and what would you like to have? Well, let's step over here if you don't mind so we can uh, get into a little bit better light. You're not going to pat me down again, are you? Pat me down? Mr. Ripple patted me down earlier for $60, I might point out. But that's all right. I got some good DVDs out of the deal. Mr. Ripple, tell me about your film that you created. Um, it began in 1999, mm -hmm. and I'm president of a company called Time Warp Films. Time Warp Films. And we are an independent production company based in Baltimore, Maryland. And we have produced five feature length films, three of which have been distributed worldwide, and one of which has been distributed in the United States. And one is in post production. Right, tell us, what was your first film? First one was Harvesters. Run down the plot for us just briefly. Uh, plot is an evil, drugged out gang, robs a grocery store, kills the clerk, carjacks a young woman, and forces her to take them back to her house to hide out. Little does the gang know that that family's business is to harvest organs and sell them on the black market. Uh -huh. Orvis, uh, uh, organ harvesting, one of my yes. favorite subjects. Yes. And I'm looking forward to seeing this. I've got the DVD now. Yes. Tell us about your next film. Uh, the one that's coming out. Or well, the, the next film following Harvesters. It would have been Stakes, which is like a vampire movie meets the old TV show Sliders, where you have a alternate, alternate universe. Alternate Earth. Okay. That's overrun by evil vampires, and they find a portal to our Earth, and three of the main vampires jump through with the goal of infecting this Earth. As a science fiction fan and a science fiction author myself, I'm looking forward especially to that one. Yes. Now, following stakes, your next film was? was Vampire Sisters, which is a tongue-in-cheek, kind of rapidly shot uh, TNA movie, for lack of a better term, uh, which happens to be our number one seller. T and A are some of my favorite letters, by the way. All right, and your next. <laughs> Don't ask me. By, by the way, Joe, what's your favorite number? Uh, this would be 69. He picked up on that one right yeah. away, didn't he? I kind of feed into those. Kind of <laughs> All right, and, and following uh, that, what was your next film? Was Crawler. Crawler, which, which is, is also a, available on DVD. No, not yet. That one's not out yet. That was the one that's in post because the creature is entirely CG. Ah. So it's taken a while for us to get all the scenes together that we need and make sure the creature looks halfway decent before we put it out. CG, two other very important letters in the alphabet. Mm -hmm. That's for the Sesame Street bunch. But uh, uh, CGI has really come along as far as being available for the independent filmmaker mm -hmm. at a more reasonable budget. Uh, yes. We're not talking about Steven Spielberg budgets anymore. Right. And uh, the quality is there, too. I've yes. seen some very impressive uh, uh, stuff done on a very reasonable budget. Yeah, and there's some stuff that's not so impressive, but you know, it's a learning experience for everybody. So that's what you look forward to. All right, we're looking forward to that. Now, what's, what's next? What's next after Crawler is Dead Hunt, which is a group of horror movie fans meet to go to a horror movie convention. One of them is a psychotic killer. Mm -hmm. And we know a lot of critics are psychotic killers as well. Uh, I've got this DVD as well, so that's available on the internet. Now, what comes out of these? What's your name? Well, right now we're, we're actually in the, in the process of production on our sixth feature, which is a trilogy of three shorts all interwoven with a singular theme. Okay. That being claustrophobia. Claustrophobia. That's the fear of Santa Claus. I, I did take psychology in, uh, in college. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we're looking forward to that, Joe. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, what? To, just let me ask you a question. Sure. Uh, and this is something which which always interests me. When you approach a horror film, uh, how do you determine in your mind what is horrifying, what is frightening, what is scary? To you? Well, I try to think in terms of there's enough scary things in the world as it is. So I try to think in terms of not necessarily what would scare me, but necessarily how can I take the violence and, and all the horror that's in the world today and apply it to a film and make it entertaining. In other words, wrap, intertwine the horror with a story. You know, anybody can take a film and sort of throw a bunch of blood and guts on the screen and call it horror. And a lot of people have. But if it doesn't have a story to it, 
it's well thought out and well acted and, and stuff, good production values, then, it's, then it's, it doesn't come across as effective. Um, I think horror is one of the hardest things to do. So what you need to do is you need to really take your time. And my company, we put all the egos on the back burner. And when we write a script, I have 12 people, including myself, and every person in my core group gets a copy of the script. Well, they all have a chance to analyze it. And they all sit around and they say, well, I think this works, I don't think this works. So when you do that, with everybody having a free say in the matter, you know, I tend to really listen to that because if eight people say, I don't think this works and I wrote the script, I need to change the script. But if it's 50-50, I've got to make a decision or, you know, one thing I don't tolerate is if we write a script and somebody says, well, that's stupid. Well, why is it stupid? I don't know, it just is. It doesn't fly. Yeah, you have, I need, have to have an analyst. You have to be able to express a reason. So when I approach a horror film, I think I approach it from the central character first, the one who is creating the horror, and then try to analyze him and figure out what type of character he is or she is, and then work the story in almost in a backtracking fashion, coming up with the different death scenarios in accordance to what we made for the film. What do you think works?